This is the Volvo XC60 uh, 2022 model with Google Infotainment. Uh, just picked up the car a couple of days ago. It's one of the first in the country. Um, anyone who's obviously getting one of these uh, soon may have some issues with the Google system. Um, for starters, it's supposed to come with uh, Apple CarPlay and Google um, Android. It hasn't. Um, Volvo aware of this issue, I'm waiting to get some feedback. Um, obviously had some issues with the uh, charging pad, um, mainly with Apple. Um, my Samsung um, has been absolutely fine. Uh, my daughter's got a, a new Apple phone, but it's uh, very intermittent in terms of uh, its charging. Again, that's something Volvo hopefully will come back. Uh, one of the things that you may find when you pick up this car, um, Unfortunately, Volvo dealers uh, have no uh, knowledge as yet because uh, it is so new. Um, I know it's been out in a form on the v, the sorry XC40 uh, recharge electric model, but it is slightly different. So I've been told to that um, infotainment system. When you first get in the car, nothing works in terms of maps. Um, obviously, your phone. Um, etc. You will need a Google account to be able to activate uh, maps. Um, you will need to put in all your passwords before they will work but obviously once in it accesses everything on your Google account. Um, phone setup's been fine. Um, music wise for some reason again uh, when you go into it um, it doesn't provide the pictures that the previous census model did at this stage. Again, hopefully that will just be a software update. Um, it is very simple to use. Again, if you're looking for advice, at the moment Volvo can't help. I've spoken to technicians. Uh, it is so new, um, they're still trying to learn uh, how it works. So they couldn't give me advice. I had to spend an hour playing around with the menus uh, with this. Um, it is... Uh, as I say, quite easy to go into the menus um, and play around, setting up apps, that sort of thing. But it, it will take a little bit of time um, if you're not used to it. Um, the only other thing, obviously, that is missing on this car, which comes in the brochure, um, you may notice down here there is no drive wheel, uh, which was your drive modes for dynamic comfort. Um, and you could also, um, you know, put in your own uh, version of how the car drove um, an independent setting so you could set up um, the chassis uh, the way the powertrain reacts and gears react again this should be on the car there should be dynamic modes but again this is missing it um, again Volvo aren't sure why the only option it gives is an off-road instead of dynamic they've moved the wheel away um, I don't know why again um, seems a backward step um, but it's on the screen, um, but that is currently missing. Anyway, this was just a quick update. Anyone who's ordered or due to get the 2022 uh, model of the XC60, um, I know this Google is launching on other models as well. Um, good luck with it. Um, hopefully it will be updated. If you've got any questions, just leave me uh, a message below and I'll try and answer those for you. Okay, thank you.